Good morning, everyone, on this early Wednesday morning. Hopefully, you're off to a good start as uh, kind of a taste of dogwood winter out there as temperatures are into the uh, lower to middle 30s outside of Chattanooga, upper 30s to near 40, closer to the city. As uh, that's when you have dogwood winter. It's after you get through the official uh, winter season, but you still have a few uh, chilly snaps, and this is one of them. The dogwoods are in bloom, and for at least a couple of nights, we'll have uh, some threats of uh, patchy or if not scattered frost out there this morning. There is just a little frost. I think we'll see a little bit more frost as we head into tomorrow morning, as it's not going to be nearly as breezy. And with those uh, fair skies, I think lows will drop well down into the 30s again by tomorrow morning. So if you have those hang baskets, tender vegetation, make sure you protect that as we head into the next night. After that, we'll start to bounce back. But it should be a gorgeous day today with lots of sunshine. And uh, we'll go ahead and get right into the graphics. And you can see basically these temperatures, I know this map is a little hard to see, but at least it gives a perspective of these local temperatures. A lot of us outside of Chattanooga, where Chattanooga is 39, you see some lower 30s, 32 in Athens, 32 in Fort Payne, lots of lower 30s. And uh, I think we're going to be in that same neighborhood again uh, tomorrow morning. So I think we'll have the threat of some more Apache uh, frost and scattered frost out there. So uh, temperatures today, though, will start to bounce back with that sunshine and the nice late March sun angle. We'll be in good shape. High temperatures settling into the mid-60s, lower 60s north of Chattanooga. And then tonight, it's going to be uh, kind of cold again for this time of season. Notice these temperatures starting out into the 30s for your Thursday morning. You see 38 Nashville, 37 Knoxville, 41 Chattanooga. But don't be deceived. Outside the cities, we'll have readings between about 33 and 36 once again. Tomorrow afternoon, though, we start to really bounce back. A real beautiful blue plate special of a day. Look at those high temperatures of around 70. And then our next weather system will start to throw some high clouds our way as we head into uh, Friday morning. And uh, by Friday afternoon, we'll see a few scattered showers move in uh, from the uh, west. Uh, nothing to worry about Friday evening, but as we head into Friday night into early Saturday morning, this is going to be another significant spring storm system that's going to bring the threat of severe weather out to our west. It looks like the middle Mississippi Valley from, uh, let's say, just south of St. Louis down through Memphis and back into uh, perhaps uh, parts of western Kentucky. That's going to be the main area or main threat of tornadoes and strong damaging winds. But as that line pushes into our neck of the woods, by late Friday night, early Saturday morning, we will have a line and that line, once again, could produce some strong gusty winds. So that's something that we'll continue to watch. As the line moves from west to east, it will slowly weaken as we head uh, through Saturday morning and then pass on to our east. So much of the weekend is going to be in good shape. Once again, early Saturday morning, late Friday night, that's going to be the window we'll have to watch for some stronger storms. And then by the time we head into Palm Sunday, after a chilly start, looking good weather-wise, there you see some more showers perhaps Monday with another storm system that could produce some strong storms as we head into the, about the middle of next week. So after dogwood winter, sometimes you see the setup uh, for uh, severe weather. And unfortunately, that will be the case as we head into first the beginning of this weekend and then by the middle of next week. We'll have two episodes that we'll have to watch pretty carefully as storm systems move basically from west to east. But today should be a gorgeous one after this chilly start. So take care, be safe, have a great rest of your Wednesday, and we'll talk to you later.